here we discuss the comparison between Maxwell Boltzmann, Bose Einstein, and Fermi Dirac statistic. Before explaining the comparison between these three statistics, we we'll firstly explain what is classical statistic and quantum statistic. Maxwell Boltzmann statistic is also known as classical statistics since it requires the classical results of the Maxwell Boltzmann velocity distribution of particles. This statistic, which successfully explains some observed properties of gas system, that is, pressure, temperature, energy, etc. But Maxwell Boltzmann statistics fails to explain some experimentally observed phenomena such as black body radiation, specific heat at low temperature, photoelectric effect and so on. Therefore, that failure of the Maxwell Boltzmann statistic gives new idea which based on quantum idea. That quantum idea is that there is a exchange of discrete energy between the system. Therefore, that statistic is known as quantum statistic. That quantum statistic, which subdivided into both Einstein statistic and Fermi Dirac statistic. Now, what are the important features of Maxwell Boltzmann statistic, Bose Einstein statistic, and Fermi Dirac statistic? That points we compare here. Maxwell Boltzmann statistic is a classical statistic, while both Einstein statistic and Fermi Dirac statistic both are quantum statistic. In Maxwell Boltzmann statistic, the particles like gas molecules are identical and distinguishable, while in B statistic, the particles are again identical but indistinguishable. Same for a pre statistic, particles are identical and indistinguishable. Distinguishable means these particles we label just like A, B, C, D and so on. But in quantum statistic, these are indistinguishable. Labeling is not possible. Maxwell Boltzmann statistic, the particles we choose identical and distinguishable that particles have any spin. While in B statistic, these particles have zero or integral spin. Integral means it may be one, two, three, four, and so on. A pre statistic, these particles have half spin. Now, which are these particles? If the particles are identical, distinguishable, they have any spin. Example is gas molecule. In B statistic, the particles are bosons, for example, photons, phonons, pymesons deuterons, helium atoms at low temperature, etc. While in a pre-statistic, those, these particles like identical and indistinguishable and if they have half spin, that particles are fermions, for example, electrons, protons, neutrons, muons, etc. Here in MB statistic, Pauli's exclusion principle with does not take into consideration since it is a classical statistic. While in B statistic and FT statistic, thus B statistic, Pauli exclusion principle does not apply. While in FT statistic, they obeyed Pauli exclusion principle. In case of MB statistic, the particles are distributed randomly within the phase space or cells without any restriction. While in B statistic, the particles are distributed with discrete energy within the quantum states without a restriction of the occupancy of any number of bosons in each quantum state. In B statistic, instead of cells, we consider energy cell and in that energy cell, there are number of quantum states. Hence, the energy is distributed within this quantum state, but the restriction is that there is no condition for the occupancy of the number of bosons in each quantum state. While in the FD statistic, it is also quantum statistic. The particles are distributed with discrete energy within the quantum state, but the condition is that these are restricted for the occupancy of the particles. These particles are whether 1 or 0. 
in each quantum state. Other properties are also discussed here. We take one example. We consider a given system which consists of two particles like A and B and there are only two cells or quantum states that is G i equal to 1 or 2, 1 and 2 here. Then how many possible distributions are possible under MB statistic, B statistic and FD statistic that we discuss here. In MB statistic, we discussed earlier the particles are identical and distinguishable. Therefore, that particles we named or labeled as AB and there are two cells, these two compiled, two cells we just take into consideration. Then what are the possible arrangement of these particles in the two cells according to the MB statistic? The possibility is first cell contain A, second cell contain B or reversing the position in the two cells this is also one of the possibility or we say that one of the cell may be empty first or second one this total distribution for the two particles in the two cells are 4 under MB statistic while in B statistic particles are identical and indistinguishable there is no question arises about the labeling of the particles all are same these are indistinguishable therefore the distribution is different in the two cell maybe there are one particle in the first cell second particle in the second cell or it may be both are in the first cell second is empty or first may be empty second both sec, both particles present in the second cell in that way there are three possible arrangement under b statistic in every statistic again it is a quantum statistic but it apply obey the Pauli exclusion principle. Pauli exclusion principle is that in B statistic Pauli exclusion principle is not obeyed. Therefore, the any one quantum state may be contained more than one particle. But in the FD statistic, if it obey Pauli exclusion principle, there is only one particle in each quantum state. Hence, in FD statistic, there is only one possible arrangement. Now, how to calculate the number of possible arrangement under MBB and FD statistic? That is, we give here this one formula. For MB statistic, the number of possible arrangements by considering the number of particles in number of cells that we calculate GI raised to NI. In the same example, we calculate here GI is the two quantum cells here, two cells and number of particles are 2, hence 2 square we get here the 4 and we get the 4 possible arrangement. For B statistic, the number of possible arrangement we calculate by using this relation Ni plus Gi minus 1 factorial divided by Ni factorial into Gi minus 1 factorial. Ni number of particles are 2, 2 plus number of quantum states are 2, 2 plus 2 we write the 4 minus 1 that is 3 factorial divided by 2 factorial minus 1 factorial. Is 2 factorial, 3 factorial is 3 into 2 factorial get cancelled, 2, 2 factorial cancel and we we'll get 3 possible arrangements. That is we calculate using this general relation. For every statistic, how we get the one possible arrangement by using the same example. The general formula we write gi factorial divided by ni factorial into gi minus ni factorial. Here the number of quantum states are 2 hence 2 factorial divided by 2 factorial into 2 minus 2 0 factorial. 0 factorial is always 1 hence 2 factorial 2 factorial cancel and we get only one possible arrangement. Then we note what is the Maxwell Boseman distribution law using the most probable condition that Ni is equal to Gi divided by e raised to alpha into e raised to Ui by Kt. For B statistic, the Maxwell Boseman distribution law is different. Ni is equal to Gi divided by e raised to alpha into e raised to Ui by Kt 
minus 1. Why in every statistic this Fermi direct distribution law is n i is equal to g i divided by e raised to alpha e raised to u i by k t plus 1. In that 1 by k t is one of the constant and that constant is we choose earlier beta. Since beta is equal to 1 by k t that if we substitute the beta value we get these three results. And these are the number of points which come under the comparison between MB statistic, B statistic and Fermi direct statistic. Thank you.